As deep as the sea, no matter how rough things may come to be, you and me, we're family. Sing ho, hey, long for the ride, ho, hey, I'll stay by your side, ho, hey, you'll always be. Last blog is all about wintering in Lefkas. There is no sailing in this blog, but we did get to explore the mountains that we could see in the background. We hired a car, so I thought I'd gone for a slightly bigger car, but when we picked it up, it was a Nissan Micra. Ready? service station, having our picnic in our amazing Nissan Micra. The journey up there was, was easy, there was hardly any cars on the road, it, it's almost like nobody goes driving in Greece. So as we got more into the mountains there were more tunnels to cut through the mountains. We were staying in Metsubo. It was like a mountain village with cobbled streets and it was like kind of um, alpine village. It was amazing. So we um, spoiled ourselves a little bit, we got a room with a bath and um, we didn't want to leave the room in the evening so we used to get takeaways into the room and have lots of nice hot bubbly baths. It was actually probably about four months since I'd had a bath. That's one of the things you miss really on a boat, you, you, you have a shower but you don't get to do a bath. Yeah it was a really nice hotel, the people that ran it were great and it was quite homely, it's just what we needed. So here we were in our comfy beds. It was about seven o'clock in the morning and then we got woken up by the bells of the church. Fire. Okay, so today we're going to the famous monasteries at Meteora. Seven miles. Turn left onto Compass Metsov oh, towards Trickler. Meteora is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it consists of six monasteries that are built on top of these stone pillars. This is one of the monasteries, it's the Rusino one, it's the nunnery, and they've built them so high so they could get up with the gods. Many people go to Meteora on a pilgrimage and there's still quite a strict dress code, so you, if you're a female then you have to um, borrow one of their skirts to cover up to the lower part of your body. I like, I like this one. We've got to wear this because we go into the monastery. Where the rock finishes, they, that's where they built it on top of it. It's spectacular. And that was with the old ladder that they would have carried all the rocks up and down. That old wooden ladder there.
where people would bring, th bring things on their pilgrimage. Thanks to the labour, skill and passion of the monks who copied and safeguarded the manuscripts of codices. It was kind of spooky because there were skulls and bones, but I really liked how the monastery was really pretty. When these monasteries were built, they purposefully made them quite difficult to get access to, and now you can get to them through little paths, but even the paths you go up and you go down and you cut through the rock, and it's quite difficult. There's um, six monasteries in all, Nipura at the top, the Valam, Husano down there, and there's another one down there, now we're going to go around to see the last three. Did you enjoy it? No, they're not enjoying it. <laughs> When we left Meteora, we needed to stock up on a few things, especially some local wine and some fruit. So we found a lovely little roadside place um, and we got, got some things. It was not like your usual roadside um, service station. So next morning we had a fantastic breakfast. Very seasonal, delicious Kalamata olive and um, a spinach pie and we decided to go and see if we could try some skiing out. Okay, we're off to go skiing today. We couldn't find much information, so we finally um, worked out that if we drove a bit further into the mountains, there was a place there that we could actually go skiing. So it was a small place, it was quite local, they didn't take cards, you had to pay everything in cash. So we, we scraped up just exactly 90 euros. So now we're going to get our ski hire for the next house. And the slopes weren't huge, but they were really good for learning on. Ski straight, together, that's it. It's quite a struggle trying to teach a young child how to ski and stop because it's really hard work, it's tiring on their muscles. Now this way, turn, push on this leg. Daddy, you're not picking up the apple. Oh, See you later. Bye. So the little one was just about to give up and they let us switch and use the toboggans and then it just changed the whole situation. In fact, after we started tobogganing, it became quite competitive. Parents against kids. Are you on the line? No. Three, two, one, go.
The next day we discovered that there were some ski lifts higher up in the mountains. We also heard that Julie and Simon, who are also liverboards on our pontoon, were going to be in the area. Simon and Julie offered to help teach the kids and Simon happened to be a ski instructor and we grabbed the opportunity, obviously. many people here so we've got the resort to ourselves it's a bit like booking a private ski slope it's great hi so we're at Anilio resort in Greece 30 minutes drive from Metsovo which is quite a nice place to stay and yeah, it hasn't snowed for quite a while, but it's pretty good now. There's not really very many icy patches. Really nicely freshly groomed today, as you can see. Pretty much got this place to ourselves because there's a few people going up on the chairlift. But other than that, there's just us. We're top of the mountain, you've got a red slope coming down. And also this is a blue slope. There's a couple of green slopes and there's also a baby slope down the bottom for the kids. What do you think of the resort, Woody? So Ewan had another go, he was much better learning from someone else rather than his mum or his dad. So it finally clicked with Ewan and Ewan worked out how to use the button lift by himself. One bigger, bigger, yes that's it! Ready, turn, that's good, and turn, pizza slice, pizza slice, yeah. and then lean in. So by the end of the second day, we could actually ski as a family, a family, all five of us together. Who won? <laughs> <laughs> we say goodbye to Simon and Julie, they were heading on somewhere else. Uh, we were so grateful for them to spend that day and we had a really nice time as well. It's amazing when you meet people in one marina, the amount of skills they have to offer and it, it astounds me every single time and you've just got to grab the opportunity. I think we'd like to call it something like opportunist learning. So the next day we couldn't resist and we came back again. We tried some of the smaller slopes and practiced what we learned. Hi, Mummy GoPro. Hi, Mummy GoPro. 
I've not been down this one before. Wow, I don't think anyone has today. We finally reached the point where we thought we could take him right to the top of the mountain. So this is the chairlift going up to the top of the mountain and you can see the others. So Derry reckons he's ready for a black slope. Are you ready for a black slope? Yeah, but they don't have any black slopes here. Right, can we just stick with the easy ones for that? Yeah. Why they got like little footsteps? Well, some are from the bears. Polar bears? Maybe polar Not polar bears. bears, no, just big brown bears. They could have your brother for lunch. Yeah. And then you for pudding. Um, what for dinner? Ooh. You. Me? Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is taking a long time. Oh. Okay, ski straight. Okay. Good boy. Okay, so we're right at the top of the mountain now. And in the background is Metsavo, where we're staying and the road that we had to drive up to get here. That is very beautiful. Okay, so all the way up north is the Pindos mountain range. That is so cool. It's pretty high up here, but because we like taking risks and stepping outside our comfort zone, we are going to ski down it. Are you ready? Where are you going? Yeah, I'm ready. Go! We're going. Okay, let's go. So a bit of excitement, we're going to create a little jump, it's really kind of slope, so the kids can jump over. Slow down, slow, now straight, straight. That's it. And when you land, bend your knees. Try 
triangular rank in case you break your arm. So once Ewan had worked out how to ski, then we couldn't, there was no stopping him. He was, he was loving it and we hardly saw him. We just got a nice coffee and uh, we don't really know where the kids are. We hope they haven't got up the chairlift on their own. <laughs> and maybe hopefully they're together as well. But um, yeah, it's some really good fun. This I feel like we're here with the elite parts of the Greek society. Just the way they look over there, so I'm trying to look really cool. But it is, it is reasonable here. It costs, for an adult, it's 25 euros to hire skis and lift pass all day. And for kids, it's 15 euros. And they can just go on any lift they like. And that's ski hire as well all day from 10 until 4. It's quite good value for money, I think. There's no queues here at all. But I don't know, that's not so good, is it? I mean, I hope their business does pick up. Greece isn't a place you'd normally think of going skiing, but I would recommend it. It's fantastic for the kids. They don't have to queue, they can just go up and down on their own. But I still can't see Rowan and Ewan, so I'm a bit worried. Barry! Where's the others? So we had a brilliant day um, going right to top on the chairlift. It was really exciting, a little bit nerve wracking, but yeah, it was really good. You're beautiful for the ski instructors. Okay, it's about half past three and there's about half an hour till it all stops. But we don't want to stop. We don't know where we're heading next because the Corinth Canal is closed. It closed because some rocks fell into it because of the bad weather. And um, so we don't know whether we can get round to Athens um, around the south side. So we're not really sure where we're going to end up in the next vlog, but we'll definitely be sailing again. <laughs> She's picking stuff. They, they're foraging. You get Woody. Don't worry, it's all on camera. It's supposed to be a toilet. I don't want vegetables, it's just how I wanted you to be happy. Food of the gods. You and me, we're family. No matter how far away we've grown to be. We travel on to unknown destinies, but you and me will still be family. So thanks for, again for watching our blogs. If you like them, please do share, comment, we will reply to you. Also subscribe on YouTube, you just have to open up a Gmail account and um, yeah, make sure everybody else sees them as well. Thanks, bye. How do we get out of here? <laughs> Okay. Hey, I'm for the ride.